Martine LaDuke. I'm at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve and we're going to do a fourth grade field trip so that the kids can get a look at nature. I like the way you're being quiet and doing some observations. You're listening, you're looking, and you're thinking about what you see. We saw a cardinal fly by already this morning. Let's see what else we can see. Can you tell me what's making the water move? Raise your hand. What pulls the raindrops to the ground? Gravity. Oh, who said that? Say it again. Gravity. What's the primary moving force of water? Gravity is pulling this water downhill. All right, because weathering breaks down the rocks. Weathering breaks down the rocks. Erosion moves the rocks. Moves the rocks. Deposition settles to the ground, settles to the ground, settles to the ground. All right. These chickens live here all day and all night, and sometimes they get bit by mosquitoes. Well, those types of diseases I mentioned are transmitted through mosquito bites. So what happens is these chickens get their blood drawn periodically by a vet with a little needle, and the vet will take that blood, put it under a microscope, and look for those diseases. And if they see the disease in the, in the blood, that's when the person comes on the news and says, West Nile virus has been found in Pinellas County. They're all females, they're all girl sentries guarding us from our diseases, from those diseases. Oh, the state tree of Florida. Nice. Florida state tree. You are going to be an expert on the thing that's in your picture. I don't want to talk all day long. I want you to teach us something. So, when you're hiking and you see the thing in your picture, this is what you're going to do. Ready? Walk along, point to the thing that's in your picture, raise your other hand and say, I know about that. I know about that. You do? Let me see. Where is it? Right there. He's pointing to a dead tree. Huh. Snag is another word for dead tree living. Leaving them standing can be beneficial for the environment. You are brilliant. Look at this. Do you see that dead tree right there? Wow. He said we call that a snag. What do we call it? A snag. Like a snag in your hair? Yeah. Look at this dead tree. Can you tell that any animals have been using it? Yes. Yeah? What do you see? I see like little holes. I see that too. Who might who might have done that? Um, a what? woodpecker. I know about that. What? Oh my gosh. Steven knows about this. What do you know, Steven? What's it called? Wild coffee. It's called wild coffee? What do you know? The fruit resembles? Resembles true coffee beans and are in the same family, but coffee is not made from this plant. So coffee's not really made from this plant, but it looks like coffee beans, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I know about that. Really? Let me see. Look at them all. Look at all these white flowers. Zakai knows about these white flowers. Give him your ear and look at the flowers. Go, Zakai. Biden flowers. They are called Biden flowers. Oh, so these seeds don't get eaten by birds and pooped out, do they? They get spread a different way. I'm going to put a Biden seed in your hand. You're going to look at it closely with your hand lens. So somebody tell me about that seed. What do you see? I see, um, like, these things on the, on the tip of them. Yes, how many? Two. He sees two needles on the end of his seed. Raise your hand if you see them. What happened to that seed? It stuck. It stuck to her clothes. How do you think these seeds get spread around the park? Because they stick to people's clothes and then they fall off. You are so smart, but what else could they stick to if there weren't any people around? Mammals. Animals. Animal fur, mammals, yes, with fur, you're right. Okay, let's go see what else we can find. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay. 